What's going on, guys? Troublesome here, and I'm back with uh, another episode of Spin Tires. I am going to jump into the campaign. Uh, <laughs> I've got myself into a pickle. This game is freaking kind of hard. And I got myself into a pickle. If you look at my fuel down there on the bottom left, I got 10 liters left in this big old beast. Uh, the goal here is to get to, uh, eight log deliveries here. And I had them on this, and then I ended up getting stuck out in the sticks somewhere. And had to drop my trailer because I got it wedged. And when I dropped my trailer, I dumped uh, dumped all the logs out of this thing on accident. They all fell out. So I didn't get my last little bit. So now I'm out of fuel in this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to grab a fuel truck. I've got one around here somewhere. But I think it's almost empty. So i got to go over here, get fuel in my fuel truck, hoping that my fuel truck has enough fuel to get there. And then come all the way back over here, fuel up this truck. And then go pick up some logs at this kiosk, one of these two kiosks, and then drop them back over here at the lumber mill. Did you catch all that? <laughs> it sucks. I'm seriously been working on this forever. It is tough. It is tough. I think this might be, no, this is not it. This one has actually a crane on it now. Oh, I forgot about that part. Um, you know what? Scratch that. I'm not even going to. I'm going to refuel that thing later. There's my fuel truck. I'm going to use this one because I got this uh, log crane on here and I haven't used it yet, but I think this will make my life a little bit easier. So what I need to do with this is just fire it up and head over to a log kiosk, which is that one and that one. And I don't think any of these are relatively close. Um... I've been blazing some new trails. You look at the little highlighted points. I've been blazing some new trails. Getting myself into some pickles. Doing it with a trailer is tough because, man, you can get yourself wedged in between trees super easy. I don't want to go to this. This one's such a pain in the butt to get to over here. Um, you know what? I'm going to hang a Louie. I'm going to hang a Louie here, and I'm going to go around the Safeway and go to this kiosk. And hopefully I can, yeah, I can stop and get fuel on my way. That's what I'm going to do. Ooh, okay. All right, so here we go. We're going to venture out. We're going to venture out. This is a freaking slow-moving game. It is slow-moving, but it is pretty cool. Uh, I got to go around this fuel truck. I think that the fuel tank is just about empty on that thing. I've been filling up a lot of different vehicles. You go through it really fast, especially that huge eight-wheeled thing that I showed you earlier. That sucker burns the fuel, but it is pretty invincible. It can go through some stuff now. So here we are in cockpit. It is one o'clock in the morning. And we are driving in the mud in some of the harshest environments imaginable <laughs> in an old truck. It's just, uh, it's kind of funny. Oh no, oh no, okay. Not sure what it is about this game. It's very dreary looking. Like even during the daytime, it's just got dreary imagery. Everything about it's dreary, but it's so hard to stop playing when you have these missions that just it requires so much work to get to where you're going. It's just, oh man, I don't know. It is a drug, and it is a bad drug. Now, I hate it that you can't see the map in the truck or even outside the truck. you got to go to it every time. All right, so I'm up here now. So I'm on the, I'm on the course. I just need to stay the course. And keep trudging down this. Where is that kiosk? Oh, there it is. Where am I? Oh, yeah. Okay. 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 Yep. Stay the course. I'll get there. Well, I'm right now. I'm right next to the. Uh... Hey, I didn't know you could zoom in looking like that. Yeah, right now I'm real close to the. Uh-oh. Where'd the trail go? 
Where'd the trail go? I am off the trail. Right now, I'm real close to that lumber mill, which is where you have to deliver the stuff to. Uh, looks like I need to hang a right. Oh, yeah, there it is. Okay, 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 okay. Whoa, whoa. Uh, playing with the controller here because it's a lot easier to control, to me, to control than using this the uh, keyboard. Yeah, there's my out-of-fuel beast. I pulled it off to the side. Thank goodness I did. Hand over hand. Hand over hand. And the shifting's really wonky in this game. I, I, I just wish that it was easier to do so I could shift myself and not have to use the automatic shifting. Because I really... See... <laughs> I just stalled the engine. As soon as I try to shift myself, I stall the engine every time. Oh, there we go. Woo! Well, I kind of like this zoomed in on the hood view a little better. Seven damage. Don't even know what I hit. Yeah, oh yeah, I like this better. Third gear, mashing them, mashing the gears. I'm at about a half a tank. I'm probably, I think I'm going to have to refuel when I get to that corner of the map where that fuel station is. I do think I'm going to make it there and all the way back without refueling once. And I don't really want to get my fuel truck out here in this mess. Not that it couldn't do it, it's just the fact that it takes a half an hour to get anywhere. I'm pretty sure up here at this split in the creek I need to hang a right. And I think it gets pretty deep. If I recall correctly, it does get deep. Look at those freaking graphics, man. That is just impressive as hell to me. Okay, before I get in here, I'm going to look at the old mappy map. Oh, shoot. Oh, shoot. I missed my turn. Well, I'm going to have to go right anyway. And that little lake right there is deep. Then I'm going to have to trudge through that wooded area right there. Dang it. How did I miss that? Oh, well. I don't know how I missed it. Moving on. Moving on. It's going to get hairy here, boys. It gets freaking hairy. I might have had to winch out last time I was over here. Because I think this gets deep. I don't know if I can stay up on this bank or not. I would be better off if I could. Oh god. Oh god. <laughs> oh, boulders. These trucks don't like boulders. Oh, look, watch the boulder. Once I get on flat ground, I gotta make sure I'm on the right course here. I am. I am. I am doing okay. Go right here. Squeeze through these trees. Hang a Louie. Squeeze through here. There's the trail. Like a boss. Like a boss. Oh, uh, by the way, this is still the first. <laughs> the first mission of the game i have got seven hours logged on this game and only about two of them were just playing around most of the rest of it was literally grinding my butt off to get to where i am i learned a lot though i learned a lot about fuel and i, I just i have learned some lessons some lessons in life in spin tires life
Okay, I got. I'm, I'll get. I'll start getting a little bit obsessive about the map because I don't like getting crammed into a situation. I think I can. Um, I'm just gonna stay on the trail. I don't like getting into situations like that when I was in because when I was in that creek, there was nowhere else for me to go. What is this? Another. Zoom in. Zoom in. Is that as far as I can go? Oh, man. That's as far as I can go. All right. I'll just follow this around. I'll be okay. It's getting to be daylight. That's nice. That is nice. Hopefully this isn't very deep. All right, I just had to pause it for a minute. We've got a phone call. I don't even know what I was talking about. Dangerous water level. See, this is deep. This is deep. I don't know if you can later fit your vehicles with snorkels or if you just get more waterproof ones later or what. I don't know. Looking forward to seeing the other maps in this game, though, because there are more than just this one. Although, I do not know what you got to go through to get them unlocked all right 6 30 in the morning 6 30 in the morning game looks so real it's unbelievable it's unbelievable how far these games have come from my days of sega genesis and sega master system in the 80s unreal this is rutted out really really bad I bet it's rutted out from that giant beast of a eight-wheeled monster that I brought through here earlier that probably walked through it effortlessly. Oh my god, dry land ahead and I'm almost out of fuel already. 41 liters left. Crap on a spatula. I hope I make it to that fuel station. Oh, it's going to be close. Oh, and this treacherous bridge. God. One obstacle after another. I don't even want to slow down. Full speed ahead. Full speed ahead. Right back in the muck. Oh, God. I hope I make it. This game stresses me out with fuel, man. I'm telling you. It stresses me out. 28 liters. I think, I think I can make it. I think I can make it. This is me in real life uh, when my fuel tank, uh, when the uh, low fuel light comes on in my car. For real. Every time. I'm one of those kind of people that fills my tank up to the very tippy tippy top and then I drive it until I absolutely can't get any more miles out of it. There's the garage. I'm going to make it. 18. All I gotta do is go left up here. I'm gonna make it. Home free. Come on, Betty. Pull through. Just pull through. I'm so cocky. I'm down to 10. 11 liters, 10, 9, this is so bad, 8, 7, I'm not going to make it, 6, 5, 4, 3, <laughs> 2, <laughs> 1, Oh, I just ran out of fuel. Oh, oh, God. I was so close. Just to put it in perspective, that is where the fuel station is. Oh, my God. Here we go. Here we freaking go. Where is that other... Where, 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 where? This is my fuel truck. The 4 4320. 
Where is it? Here it is. Oh, it's got it's full of fuel. Okay. Oh. Okay, well, we're going to have to run that whole course again in this one. Oh, I will. I'll just return when I get there, guys. This is torture. Well, while I'm here, I don't see any reason why not to fill this thing up. I only got 136. All right, so now my fuel tank is empty. Well, the big tank, and now I got 146 in that. So maybe that'll get me somewhere. Oh, God. Here we go again. This thing's doing pretty good, though, I will admit. This thing is, is romping. It's pretty fast because it doesn't have any weight, and I don't have a trailer. So it is romping, and it is kicking some butt. Now guys, this right here is where I messed up last time in that other truck where I didn't turn right. And I had to go through that real deep area. Uh, I believe this will save me if I hang a right right here and go through this swampy part. I believe, I believe, I believe. Yeah, I think this is the safe, I think this is the safe route. Okay, guys, I am finally closing in on the prize. See how much faster this truck is? This truck's pretty awesome. I didn't realize how much better it was at navigating. I don't know if it's because it's, it's lighter or what, but we have been making some pretty good time, pretty good headway running through these trails. So I'm going to run around this poor broke down beast <laughs> and go get some fuel come back fuel that up and then probably park this at the garage the gay garage look how close I was oh my god so close okay 1200 liters in this old girl now now let's see how our performance diminishes this truck is awesome. Okay. Fuel that thing up. Now, I'm going to park this one here at the garage. This, uh, doing this garage, you also have to haul trailers and gear over here that's, that are like four garages. So, it, um, it took me a few trips actually over here to get this garage unlocked also. Okay, now I have fuel. Now I can go back to that kiosk, wherever it went. here and get these logs on that's not what i wanted to do c375 this is what i've got and this is where i'm going okay all right okay um this is gonna suck there are some deep water crossings in this yeah, there are some deep water crossings in this adventure that are going to suck. I'll go ahead and top off these six liters on the tank real quick. All right. While I'm here, might as well. I haven't got the chance to use this crane yet, so that's probably going to be comical as hell. I've loaded everything else with that, uh, with, it looks like a front-end loader with claws on the front that 
picks up logs. I haven't got to use this uh, crane yet, so that'll be interesting. Oh yeah, it looks real pleasant and deceiving with this gravel road right here. Everything looks smooth sailing. Right up until I hit the friggin' lakes coming up. Oh god, it's already gonna get soft. It's already getting soft. Oh, what's that? Um, I don't really know. I gotta look at the map. Yeah, I missed the mark. Crap. Crap, I gotta turn around. There's no way around it. I gotta turn around. Okay, now we're cooking. Now we're cooking. Want to see? Um, I do believe that is my clearing. That is one of my clearings. That will be the best clearing, I think. Yeah. Yep. Here we go. Oh man, I hope this isn't that deep. I gotta squeeze through these trees now. Okay, I looked at the map. I need to hang a hard left when I get in this. And hope that trailer doesn't get stuck on that tree like it is right now. Oh, oh. Okay, hard left. Now we're cooking. All right, here we go. Through the wilderness. Okay, there's actually a trail popping up here on the right. Pop up on this trail. That I can run uh, parallel to the lake. And then... I'll have to jump back in the lake. Once, oh, I think I jump back in the lake once I get down to the end. To cross it. Oh my god. Come on, baby. Pull up. Oh, this is not a trail. This is a freaking ridge. I don't think I can do it. Break it. Yeah, break it off. I can't run on this. It's too steep. Oh. Too steep. It's all right. I can run. At least I can run here on this bank. Oh my god. Oh. My god. This is where I have to cross. Holy shoot. This is kind of crazy. This is kind of ridiculous. Like, this is hardcore. Oh, by the way, I do have a game in hardcore mode. Uh, I, I think I don't know what I don't know what the difference is. To be honest, damage is probably worse. Dangerous water level. Oh, sh oh God, it's so deep. <laughs> Am I stuck? Oh no, I'm not stuck. Ooh. Look at that trailer is gone. Holy crap. That was that was crazy. That was crazy. That dude's pants are wet. That shit was up to the windshield. Oh, is this where I turn? It is. Oh, for God's sakes. This is where I turn. Holy crap, you guys. I've made it to the log kiosk. This was tough. Now I got to get this thing straightened out next to these little bucks here. 
and uh, then figure out how to activate the crane and go through all that rigmarole. I've never done it. Okay, here we are. Finally. Uh, spawn these medium logs. Go to advance. Turn on turn anchors. Push anchors. Oh, they're outriggers. They're outriggers. Holy crap, look at those controls. Okay. Alright, there's up. I don't think I got enough buttons on this controller. No, I'm gonna have to use the keyboard. Okay, crane, crane grab is five. Okay. Rotate grappler. Okay. E and Q is up and down. I wonder how many things this... I wonder how many logs this thing can grab at the same time. Q goes down. Now grab. Now up. Hey, two at a time. Not bad. Up. There we go. Rotate. Hey, this ain't too bad. I need to... Down. No, I want to move. I, I need to see. I need to change my view. How about I just open? Yeah, that's what I was afraid of. That's why I need to move my view. I guess this thing doesn't have the gusto to move it. Maybe. Is that what's going on here? Oh, there we go. There we go. It's barely got the gusto to do it. I need to know how to pull that arm in. Here we go. Oh, God. Okay. Two down. Two down. Now I just got to get these friggin' last one. Okay. Okay, I got it. I got it, guys. Oh my god, I got it. Okay. Now this is a freaking heavy load. Okay, this just got really hard because this truck just got really heavy. And it's really, really, really dark. So now my turning is going to be hindered. This is going to be tough. Okay, guys, we are back on the road to success. This is going to be so hard. Look how tipsy this truck is. Super tough. I'm burning an astronomical amount of fuel now. Oh, my God. All right, I'm going to be honest with you guys. I don't know if I'm going to make it. I got this stupid deep lake crossing to go through again. Except now I get to do it with 20,000 pounds of freaking lumber. I'm not going to be able to ride up on the banks and get all off camber like I was. I've got to just hang, maintain a very gradual left. And try not to drown this truck. Even if I have to damage it a little bit because of water. Right up here is where it starts to get deep. Right here. Okay, I don't, um, I literally do not know what to do here. Wonder if I go left, if I go right, wonder if it's shallower over here.
Oh my god, I'm getting ready to tip it over. Oh my god, it's so top heavy. Oh, this was a good move. This was a safe move. This was a safe move. Oh, am I going to be okay the rest of the way? I can't do that because that's where I was way off camber. I'll flip it over for sure. But I think over here on the left there is something better. Maybe? No? Definitely not. I was definitely wrong. All right. Well, I'm stuck. And I'm almost out of fuel again. I'm going to winch out. Is it going to go over if I release the winch? Oh god. Please don't tip. This is some butthole. <laughs> this is some butthole pucker and stuff right here. Oh my god. Okay, here we go. Here we go. So many winch points. Thank God. All right, now I'm gonna try to winch over to this one. What's the problem? Stuck on that little tree? Come on, break it off! Break it off! <sighs> this poor guy. Release, winch again. Winch from here over to here. Just gonna slide it over. Okay, I am going to have to say, of all of the terrible ideas that I've had, this is up there among the worst. I am completely screwed. I'm going to try to drive this down this bank without flipping it. Oh, God. No. Oh, God. All right, guys, that's going to do it for today. If, um, because if not, this video will be four and a half hours long. Next episode, we'll dig this thing out. 
we will because I can't winch this thing correct now because the engine won't start and you gotta have the engine running so I'm gonna have to go get something else come back here winch this thing back up right and then go get logs again what I'll probably do is get that gigantic eight-wheeled thing again because it should be able to pass through this water and stuff no problem at all um, if that's what I'm gonna have to do hey if you like this video you guys want to see more spin tires mud runner let me know hit the like button if you're new go ahead and subscribe I drop new content every single day appreciate you guys hanging out with me putting up with my terrible mud runner skills we're gonna get through this and we're gonna get through it together I appreciate you guys as always and I will talk to you guys next time